Hit it, huh? Doctor. <laughs> oh, you're you're a doctor. Yes, I'm a doctor. Oh, he's a doctor. Yes. I didn't know that. It's a doctor. Okay. okay. We're in business. Hello, Amber. Welcome. And this is the special meeting of the City of Ohio Arts Commission on Friday, the 28th of July, 2017. And we will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. And Mr. Mm -hmm. Crowder, would you please lead us? Dr. Crowder. Dr. Crowder. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, with indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's hard to get rid of 50. <laughs> okay. Now have uh, a roll call. Would, please? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Tosher? Present. Commissioner Crowner? Here. Commissioner Byrne? Here. Commissioner Balderman? Here. Commissioner Golden? Here. Vice Chair Harmon and, and Chair Addison? Here. Okay, we'll move on to public comment. Um, I don't believe there's anyone here to make a public comment, but we are going to move then to the first item of the agenda, which is consideration of the uh, proposal from the Committee on Public Art. And uh, Christine Golden, who is the chair of CAPA, will make that presentation. Yes. Well, we just finished a very short time ago a wonderful presentation uh, from the artist who's sitting out here in the audience, Martha Moran, and the art consultant, Cindy Frings. And uh, did, did the rest of the commissioners get any materials? Yes, no, they did, okay. So if you've looked through those materials, you'll see that there was a very thoughtful and um, uh, detailed uh, presentation put forward by the artists. And it was discussed in great length, including a map, which you see up there on the screen, where uh, maybe you can just get up and point with your fingers, Cindy, as I say this. And Martha, why don't you go to that one? Either one. <coughs> and what they're going to point at is the, loca the possible locations for the benches. The first bench, which is pretty well set where it's going to be, is over near um, Aliso Street, right there in the corner. Are the buildings on that map? Yes. Yes. It's very hard to see. Yeah, yeah, you just need like a ruler or something to point. I don't yeah. know. You know what? Yeah. Or a pencil. Or a pencil or anything. Perfect. There you go. Okay, so first one. And we very much like the location of that bench. You'll see also up. Yeah. Cindy, would you come get the maquette and maybe like hold that up so that the rest of the commissioners can see it? And so the public can see it on television. Yeah, turn and face that way to show it to the right. public. Yeah. So this is a facsimile of what we're talking about. Benches that are made from boulders that are now on the property. So it's reuse of materials that are on the property. And then the flagstone seat and back are, are pieces of flagstone that the artist has at this point in time. So this is a very, um, what's the right word, Michael? A very, um, it blends into the environment. Organically Organic. integrated with the environment. Thank you. Michael always has all the Dr. right Edison. words. So we're going to have Martha again use her stick and show you where one of these benches will go uh, near the uh, Aliso Street entrance. And it will be visible not just within the development itself, but also from the sidewalk there, which we really like. Then there's a, there are three benches that have been budgeted out altogether. And the second bench goes just off the pathway right in that area by the trees there. And then there's a third bench, which uh, the artist anticipates somewhere where she's pointing now. <clears throat> but um, there is some consideration that it might go where, she, the, where she's now pointing. And in our recommendation, we're going to leave it to the discretion of the artist and the developer as to where that third bench will go, depending very much on shade trees, accessibility, 
from the sidewalk, for example, if it goes in the fourth spot, it can be readily seen from Oak Street. We're going to leave it up to the, what the natural environment is calling for. So the it's size a, of the bench is also a factor because we've also recognized that uh, the artist in the work on the site will determine whether benches are a two-person plus a child bench or a three-person bench or just a two-person bench. But that's going to be determined on the basis of the materials when the actual boulders have been chosen and, and the site is being jiggled, if you will. And it, it just seemed the nature of this project allowed for right. that sort of artistic discretion. Uh, questions were asked about whether or not the flagstone would be sanded because sometimes flagstone um, pieces will chisel off and there'll be loose sheets and the artist has guaranteed us that the material will be sanded and treated in such a way and chiseled before time so that there isn't any concern about that. Um, there's also a, um, a nice... Uh, narrative on ongoing care <clears throat> and that would be sealing and waxing the artist is recommending every three years um, I believe and Amber helped me with this that in the case of private public art private development public art that the owner must do the maintenance is that correct yes okay um, we felt it was a really um, well put together plan and there was unanimous vote to send it forward to the Arts Commission for your consideration and I would invite anybody uh, here who didn't hear the presentation if you have any questions for the artist or the art consultant this would be the time before we take it to a, a vote. Bobby anything that you want to ask? Yeah, I, um, yeah, I read it too. Uh, is are the um, horizontal pieces in the back piece? Is that stone or is that some sort of wood? Stone, it is. Yeah, wow. Stone, okay, so we need you at the mic, Martha. We need you to reply from the mic. Yeah, it's flagstone, and uh, it would be steel reinforced. And you can look on the back side. There's, there's. That's another piece I have. So they're going to be in that color range, with those little rocks that are next to the bench on the maquette those are actually the color that's from the site that have you rock. gone shopping yet for your rocks or you have some of them or they're on the site apparently the rocks they're all, are there. all on the they're, site the they're, boulders are. they're they're these are yeah, yeah. The, i saw that yeah. yeah they're there now right so the boulders are on the site yeah. and are being repurposed for this the flagstone martha has flagstone um at her studio that she's going to use. The mm -hmm. flagstone is coming in off-site, but the boulders that form the supports are actually for, uh, repurposed boulders, which is kind of cool, we thought. Yeah. Very cool. <clears throat> Christine? <coughs> oh. Any questions or comments? Or? No, the pre no, the presentation was very good, so I, mm. I mean, I, I don't have any questions. And it's coming from an artist, a first-rate artist. <laughs> well, that, I, that, that's important. I think this is a, a sort of a hallmark project, in fact, with a highly recognized, internationally recognized art consultant and an artist of very high caliber who happens to be a resident of Ojai. Thank you. So it's exactly what we're seeking in the public art program. Um, there, there are two more points that I want to bring up for the art consultant and the artist, and that is that uh, part of the art ordinance requires archival photography so uh, to go into the file. So at some point we may, when we do the inspection, we also will, and maybe that should be part of the motion, I don't know, because it is in the guidelines. I don't know if it has to be in the motion, but we will be looking for archival photography at some point. And also there will be signage which um, in the past, when it comes to p private art, um, the cost of that signage is paid for by the artist. So you'll wanna uh, make sure that that's understood by Mr. Becker, that there will be signage uh, that will be required. And that's in the form of a bronze plaque, and, and there are such plaques all over town, so it's, right. it's that right. sort of 
simple and discreet right. signage. Right. And I don't know if you're no thinking... No neon billboards, we promise you. <laughs> <laughs> if you're thinking of titling the piece in any way or just that it will say yeah. Rock Benches, Martha Moran um, Project, you know, blah, 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 blah. We can consult on that. I have a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, is the is the is Kappa and the Arts Commission are you, are you intending for there to be a plaque for mm -hmm. one bench or a plaque at each site? A single plaque oh, for the project. Yes, one just, plaque for the just project. Just make Absolutely. sure that we're clear. No, no, not yes. three plaques. One plaque, probably at the Aliso <coughs> bench site. But we're very open to your ideas about that as well. But I would think that would be the main entry right mm -hmm. off Alyssa that we'd want it tucked somewhere See. there. Yeah. And um, Martha, I'm on the publicity committee. So also, if you take photographs while it's being built, it would be really wonderful for us for our files or the okay. website. OK, we'll do that. Right, a digital file would come along with the um, archival f photographs. Okay. And okay. it will be publicized using that material mm -hmm. as well. Yes, okay. yes, and we'll, we'll, we will do a PR piece on this when uh, the time is right. Yeah. And we probably, I will just mention that we probably have a couple public art projects that would be good to do a follow-up public art mm -hmm. uh, press release. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll talk, Stuart. Well, yeah, I want to. Yeah. Okay, any further discussion? If oh, not, when, when do you think this would be available? Because it has to do with the construction of the whole project. It really, right? yeah. I, we haven't even discussed with yeah. Jeff. And, and he, he was waiting. Yeah, he was waiting, and now and now we'll we'll get a timeline. Uh, we can hmm. send you some information about the timeline once we yeah keep us posted. Get discuss with yeah, him. and I'm thinking that this is not this will be toward the tail end of the building that he's doing. Wouldn't think, you think? I, you not? know, I think so. Except I want I have to pick my rocks and have them move to yeah, those right. areas, so they'll right. be half yeah. they'll be sort of half mm -hmm. there, and then most of right. it will be done on site. A work in progress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I think it would be appropriate to have a motion uh, accepting the project as described. I move we have a motion to accept the project as described. Yeah, I would say probably the, the, accept the recommendation of CAPA to yes. move forward oh, yeah. so that the, the rec CAPA, CAPA has made a very specific recommendation. Okay. Is that okay? Of course it is. I'll alternate yeah. that. I'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I think we have unanimous approval, and congratulations yes. and thanks. Thank you both thank very you. much. And thank you so much for coming in, especially today. We really appreciate sure. it. Oh, no, we sure. really appreciate it. Now I get to work in the heat. Yes, <laughs> yeah, lucky you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, we'll move on to the second agenda item and the concluding agenda item, I hasten to add, and that is consideration of the Ojai Day request to partner on the 25-year celebration of the Mandala, Mini Mandala Project. And Amber, I think this is your baby, so please uh, let us know what you have in mind. I'd just like to thank the commission for taking this up at your special meeting, because um, I know it was kind of last minute. Um, as we discussed at the regular meeting, or as I introduced at the regular me meeting, this is the uh, a Mini Mandala Project that would be done in chalk around the fountain area on Ojai Day. Um, and the intention of the partnership is to utilize the Arts Commission's fantastic um, press re um, public relations committee and um, and your contacts within within the artistic community to reach out to artists for participation. Um, there wouldn't be any actual hands-on work from the commission that would be held by, handled by an Ojai Day designee. And so that's what we're basically trying to tap into your well of knowledge and connections. Okay, this is a networking proposal then. And uh, well, naturally if the commission would like to be more involved, well, you would we do be have artists on the commission after all which who would, may well choose to participate. Which would be spectacular. How will artists be selected to participate? Because I will volunteer. That would be lovely. I think and I think we'll probably do a first come first serve until we have to develop a waiting list. So it'll go like on the, on the paper or something in the mm -hmm. newspaper and they'll or call you. Yeah. All yeah. right, put me down. Oh, great. Okay, uh, we have our first volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the date of Ojai Day 16? No, no, it, it's the latest in the calendar year. It can possibly be October 21st. Okay, okay. 
And uh, how do we get photography of something that's in, and get it in newspaper, uh, certainly, but uh, if it's, it's happening and then it, it, it's done the next day and then? Well, there's a few things we can do. So, so that's, I'm glad you asked that because I'm, I'm unclear. So you're going to let us know what you're looking for and you want us to write a press release for it. And then, um, so it would be a but, but, kind of a call for artists yeah. is what it would be. And then after that. But what, do, what do we see? What's the visual? You use a visual of From one last of, year. of an old previous mandala. uh, mandalas. So, yeah. this a new one? So, a new we have, that so we have two things that we can use. We can use, pa we have plenty of pictures of past mandalas yeah. that are the full paint ones. And fortunately, last year, um, Iris Williams and John Aaron partnered to do a square um, chalk art piece by the fountain so they can at least kind of have an idea of what the space looks like and the materials they'd oh. be working with. These will be circular, but, um, but the location will be the same. Okay. The mm -hmm. yeah. And the materials will be the same. They'll and be working on chalk. The city's supplying materials. Well, it's Ohio supplying, well, supplying materials, which is the city. It just makes me sound more important. No. Amber? Yes, ma'am. And they'll continue yeah. with the large mandala on yes, Ohio Avenue. Mm -hmm. And will the artist uh, create their mini mandalas at the same time the large one the evening before depending on how yeah. many of them are alive on Ojai Day uh, the, our mandala artists are really spectacular and they work from 8 p.m. on Friday night until about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning on Saturday so typically for Ojai Day they're a little cashed out um, so this would be a celebration in honor of them and those who wish to participate are more than welcome, but it's not an expectation that we have at this time. Great. Any further questions? Uh, is there a motion then, please? I motion that we partner with Ojai Day to be their, what was that word you used, Michael? Liaison? Our networking yeah. partner. Networking partner. Mm -hmm. I'll second it. Second, okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank Unanimous you. approval. Thank you. I would just really like to really quickly, because I know we need to get out of here, say thank you very, very much to the commission. It's always so fun to have strong community partnerships with the event in, for Ojai and Ojai. And, um, and you're just such a lovely body, so we're lo really looking forward to working with you guys. Thank you so much. But we'll you. round up more artists, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Is there a staff liaison report at this meeting? Uh, you know, we don't have anything to report. Thank you. Uh, any <laughs> 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 oh, you could talk about bad news. <laughs> <laughs> any commissioner comments? A commissioner comment. I don't know if this is appropriate to say now, but I'm like a little kid so excited about this that I just dropped off the disc of photos and sat with Carlos Grasso and went over the folding dummy, and he is on the graphic design of the book. Great, 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 great. That's Good. Terrific. Good. Yes. So we Good. Gone into the final production stage. Wow. I aim. That is fabulous. I, Thank you, yes. Bobby. That I do have a question. I don't know if it's appropriate, but yeah. what did the city council decide about all of us yeah. being on the commission? Yeah. So Do we still have jobs? It, didn't come up. it actually is, uh, it got pushed back to the 8th. Oh my God. And I, I stayed until 11, 11 o'clock that, that night to hear to that. The last item was 11 p.m. and they adjourned. Wow. Wow. Okay. So I will be there on the 8th oh and gosh. tell them that we ain't quitting. <laughs> <laughs> what about, what about the, the budget? Has that been That's still, still in the works. works? And That'll be September no 12th. Yeah. Mm. Okay, um, Excellent. I think we then are, unless there's any further business that can be conducted on the basis of what's on the agenda, and how could there possibly be, <laughs> we are adjourned. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So to complete this <laughs> conversation I was having with you, my concern is I'll be between a rock and a hard place, because now this moment is exciting. It's